Have you ever had a complex 3D scan file like an OBJ or an STL that you want to shell and create a solid body so you can modify? In today's episode, we're going to learn how to do just that using Mesh Mixer and Fusion 360. My name's Adam James and be sure to like and subscribe for jumping right on in. So if you don't already have a 3D scan file, what you can do is you can head on over to sketchfab.com. You can find a number of different free 3D scan files that are typically OBJ files that you can use to follow along with this example. I'll leave a link to this project that I'm referencing for this example. It's just this Diet Coke file uh, that has a three OBJ file that I downloaded. Once you open the file, you want to scroll down here and click download 3D model. You'll be able to save it so you can open it for reference later. That being said, let's go ahead and open a program called Mesh Mixer. If you haven't already, feel free to download Mesh Mixer. I'll leave a link to the download in the description below. It's a free Autodesk software that we're gonna use for the purpose of this example. So as always, what I'd like to do is give you a high level preview of what we're actually going to do here in this example. Uh, this is the Diet Coke can, and you can see it is a 3D body that I'm able to modify. Uh, I actually went ahead and put the little drinking spout here. But you can see this was a 3D scan that I pulled from Sketchfab. And now it's a solid body. It's a super complex geometry <laughs> with a lot of triangles. And the reason that we're going to use Mesh Mixer and Fusion 360 today is due to the fact that I find that this workflow typically works for really complex geometries. And so it'll typically never steer you in the wrong direction and will always provide you a solution if you have something super complex, like a 3D scan mesh that you want uh, this method to work in. There is a shell feature within the mesh workspace in Fusion 360, but I find that sometimes if it's not simplistic enough, it won't actually shell or converge so that's why we're going to use Mesh Mixer today. So first step, we're going to go ahead and click on this new um, button at the top. And then we're going to, as always, insert our mesh from this insert uh, section at the top of this toolbar. And then we'll left click on insert mesh. From here, all we're going to do is insert the OBJ file that we downloaded from Sketchfab. And in my case, that's Artec Space Spider Diet Coke Color Millimeter. Uh, awesome name there. We'll let that load in. And the reason we're doing it in Fusion first is so that we have geometrically correct dimensions uh, for the mesh. And then we'll just click OK. So this all looks good. Um, this Wow, this scan looks really good, actually. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, left click on 3D Print, and we want to select the uh, mesh that we just brought in. So left click on that and then make sure this is selected to 3MF, and then we'll select OK. And then you could just go ahead and name this whatever you'd like. For the purpose of my example, I'm just gonna say Coke Mesh Mixer, and hit Enter, and that will load. And then we're gonna go ahead and open Mesh Mixer. Again, Mesh Mixer is a free software offered by Autodesk to edit and define meshes. So let's go ahead and open that now. Right here we see Mesh Mixer, and we'll open that, and right away you get presented with this user interface that looks like this. We'll go ahead and select Import, and then we want to import the 3MF file that we just modified, and click Open. Great, and this is kind of, I guess, off of this bed. It doesn't really matter for the purpose of our example, but if you do want to um, modify or transform this, you can left click on Edit, and then left click on Transform, and then you can kind of pull it up just so it's visually um, more appealing, I guess. And then you can right click to rotate around this model. It's uh, It looks pretty good, actually, to be quite honest. Um, from Sketchfab to Fusion 360 over to Mesh Mixer. Uh, I always like to click close cracks just to make sure uh, that we're all set to go there and there's no holes. Uh, that looks like that uh, worked with no problems. And then all we're going to do is click on Make Solid. Great, and you can leave the solid accuracy at its automatic uh, settings. That's fine, left click on accept. And then all we're going to do is left click on hollow. And what hollow is going to do is it's going to basically create this hollowed inner surface here that, that we can then export back into Fusion 360 and modify from there. 
So that's all we're using Mesh Mixer for, just this kind of simplified tool. Um, offset distance, it has two millimeters. It's quite thick for a Coke can. Let's just do maybe 0.8. Before we hit accept, I do wanna mention that what we wanna click is remove all holes before we generate this hollowed shape. That's a really important step. Otherwise, when you import it to Fusion, you might get a bunch of different bodies because the structure isn't solid. So keep that in mind. Hit accept, we're all good to go. And then left click on export at the bottom left here. And just make sure you export as a 3MF file in the drop down. I'm just gonna call this Coke can shelled and we'll save. And then we'll go back into the Fusion 360 workspace. So we'll create a new design and we'll save this as Coke, oh, Coke cake, Coke can shelled and hit enter. And again, we will do the same thing. Insert at the top right here, insert mesh, find our 3MF file, uh, Coke can shelled and open. And we'll just select okay. So again, this looks pretty darn good um, for a 3D scan. Got a little jagged edges over here, but nothing to be too concerned about. What we're going to do next is we'd like to go to inspect at the top. So click left click on that and then click on section analysis. Um, show the origin over here. So this little eye icon, left click on that. And then we can zoom out, shift middle click, and then that allows this plane to be, um, so we can select the plane. So we'll left click on that plane and We'll click OK. So what you can see here is now we've got this shelled inner mesh surface that we're going to use for the next step. I mean, this this is really, really intricate and was done so quickly within Mesh Mixer. Um, this would probably take you ages to even come close to doing Infusion, uh, uh, and it would probably crash. So this is why <laughs> this workflow is so great for very complex meshes that you want an offset um, shelled mesh for. So from here, what we'd like to do is, you know, we want to make a this kind of cut for the drinking spout um, at the top. Let's turn this analysis off, right? What we're going to do, and we've done this in some of my previous uh, video examples, is we go to mesh at the top here, left click on that, modify, and we go to convert mesh. All we're going to do, left click on our mesh and then select OK. Now I've already done this before, so I'll fast forward uh, from here until the mesh converges to a solid. So now that this is finally converged, what we're gonna wanna do is make sure we're in the solid workspace and head over to inspect and then select section analysis. And then we want to show the origin in the tree over here and then zoom out so we can select this plane and select that right plane there. And then we can zoom in and you can see the, uh, the shelled uh, Coke can. Pretty slick. It looks really good, actually. And we'll just click OK. Um, in order to achieve this in Fusion 360, most likely it would take extremely long to converge and then probably fail at the end. So that's why we use Mesh Mixer, ensuring that there's no holes and that we then export that a uh, hollowed STL or 3MF in this case over to Fusion so that we can then convert it to a solid. Really slick. So then what we can do, let's click, uh, let's hide the section analysis and we can modify this little uh, Coke lid here and this will work for any modifications that you'll be doing to your uh, new solid converged shelled uh, part. So let's create an offset plane here just from the top Lift this up just so it extends beyond the body itself, left click here, and then left click on create sketch. And just for the purpose of time, we'll go ahead and just kind of do like a quick spline just to show for an example that you can modify this. And that's super janky, but you get the point. Let's left click on that, left click on extrude, and then we'll just go into the surface. Now this will take a little bit of time, and just because there's so many facets that it's cutting through, it takes a little longer, but uh, we'll click OK. And just like that, we've got a modified shelled 
solid body from an OBJ that we downloaded that was originated from a 3D scan. This is some pretty complex stuff and really cool to see a combination of both uh, Mesh Mixer and Fusion 360 working together to provide something that we could then uh, 3D print this, this kind of shelled customized uh, 3D scanned uh, solid part. I stumbled upon this workflow in preparation for a video that I'll be creating this weekend. If you liked what you saw here, then be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.